As of 2014, about 250 corpses have been cryogenically preserved in the U.S. As for facilities that specialize in retaining cryopreserved bodies, currently there are a total of four of these in the whole world. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here is our list of the top 20 people who are frozen in time. La Doncella this girl and two other children were left on a freezing mountaintop by an ancient Inca tribe as offerings to the gods. The mummified remains of the three children were found in Argentina in 1999. Archaeologists reported that the girl La Doncella was found dressed in a ceremonial tunic and headpiece. La Doncella's mouth still held fragments of corn liquor and cocoa leaves. The corn liquor was found as a sleeping draft by the Inca, while the coca leaves were used for treating altitude sickness. Indeed, a truly scary story from over 500 years ago. The Beauty of Exayaho This is a rare Bronze Age Caucasian mummy whose origin, culture, and fate remains a mystery. This historic mummy, complete with an exhibition of over 150 objects, comes from the Ixinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region Museum and the Ixinjiang Institute of Archaeology in Urmuchi, China. Although not a lot is known about the mummy, the exhibit is considered significant as it gives us a glimpse into the history of the Silk Road and the ancient world it existed in. It reveals to us the full extent of Silk Road trade spreading from China all the way to the Mediterranean. Lady Zinshu. You may have heard about her at Creepypasta. Yes, Zinshu, also known as Lady Dai or Marquis of Dai, was the wife of Lai Chang, Marquis of Dai. The royal couple were from the Han Dynasty. Zinshu's was a member of the ruling class, hence, according to the customs of the time, her body was preserved. Zui was found in an unusually large coffin filled with expensive artifacts and fine fabrics. In Mawangdui, Shangsha, Hunan Province, China. Arctic Civilization Mummies Two medieval mummies from an Arctic civilization have recently been discovered in Siberia. These remains of an adult and a baby were found in Zelenia Yar Necropolis, an archaeological complex discovered in 1997. The amazing fact is that the mummies were covered in copper from head to toe. After the mummies, scientists uncovered ten more graves belonging to the Arctic civilization. Interestingly, five of these already have been looted by thieves, while five are intact. Uwa Wisnerska In February 2007, 35-year-old paraglider Uwa Wisnerska found frozen in the air as she was paragliding over Manila, New South Wales, Australia. Uwa was preparing for the World Paragliding Championships when a storm sucked her into the clouds. She was continuously hit by rainfall and hailstorms. The storm took her from roughly 2,500 feet to 32,000 feet in just 15 minutes. Uwa lost consciousness forever as temperatures around her plummeted to minus 50 degrees Celsius or minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Sleeping Beauty in September of 1969, a group of Russian scientists were exploring a coal mine. The mine was located in the village of Rysatchik, Tisulskago, in the Kamarovo region. In the same mine, a miner named Karnahov suddenly came across a well-crafted marble coffin. Scientists were summoned to the site, and they carefully opened the coffin. First, a strange crystalline blue and a rose liquid having a strange texture flowed from the coffin. Then, the fully preserved body of an unusually beautiful woman was found. People from nearby villages came to visit the woman and called her Princess Teluski. Atsi the Iceman High in a remote area of the Otzeler Alps in northern Italy 5,300 years ago, Oetzi the Iceman was shot in the back with an arrow. The arrow hit a main artery. Atsi expired on the spot. His body was preserved in the ice, making him one of the oldest and best preserved mummies on Earth. Atsi's fascinating story has been published by renowned platforms like Reddit. Anna Bagenholm in May 1999, Anna Bagenholm, a 29-year-old radiologist, was skiing with two other colleagues in the Kajolan Mountains in Norway. During skiing, Anna fell into a frozen stream. Her colleagues tried to pull her out, but she seemed to be stuck between some rocks. One interesting fact is that Anna found a pocket of air under the ice. It helped Anna live for some time. Anna kept struggling to free herself for 40 minutes in the frozen waters. Finally, she stopped moving. Beck Weathers. 
On the night of May 10, 1996, Beck Weathers huddled with 10 other climbers on an exposed stretch of Mount Everest, 26,000 feet above sea level. The team's supplemental oxygen was fully depleted, and they struggled for each breath in the freezing cold. Beck Weathers, a 49-year-old Dallas pathologist, was worse than most. Earlier that day, he'd gone almost entirely blind, the altitude-induced effect of a recent corneal operation. As the sun set, Beck's body temperature dropped and his heart slowed. Soon, he was nothing but a lifeless form, frozen forever in the chilly embrace of the Everest. Stella Bernstein Seven-year-old Stella Bernstein drowned in a freezing pond of water on December 23, 2010. Her body was found three and a half hours later by a rescue helicopter and taken to hospital. At the time, her body temperature was 13 degrees Celsius, 54.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite this, the doctors succeeded in saving Stella by warming her up slowly. Stella made a remarkable recovery. Despite the progress, doctors were cautious. They warned Stella's parents that even if she did wake up, it was very unlikely that she would be the same girl as before. Dr. James Bedford a psychology professor at the University of California was the first person to ever be cryonically preserved. The choice to be preserved by freezing was entirely his. He even left money for a steel capsule and liquid nitrogen in his will. When Dr. James passed away on January 12, 1967, his family abided by his wishes. It was a big day for people who are passionate about cryonics. To this day, they refer to January 12 as Bedford Day. Dick Claire Jones A well-known figure in the television industry, Dick Claire Jones was a producer, actor, and writer. His contributions include popular shows like The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Bob Newhart Show, The Facts of Life, and Mama's Family. Dick was also interested in cryonics and was a member of the Cryonics Society of California. Dick succumbed to AIDS and breathed his last breath in 1988. According to his wishes, his lifeless body was immediately put on ice, literally as you can see from the picture. Thomas K. Donaldson This is a mathematician who is known for proposing good breaking ideas about death, agelessness, and human longevity. Thomas K. Donaldson proposed that the human brain continued to exist and have functionality even after a person stopped breathing. According to him, the current human technology was not advanced enough to understand the brain activity of someone who had passed away. Thomas K. passed away in 2006 and was cryogenically preserved. He was fully confident that he would come back someday. FM-2030 Yeah, that was his real name. This man was named Firiadem M. Esfandieri at birth. Later, he changed his name to FM-2030 to reflect his goal of living for a full hundred years. Firedon would have celebrated his 100th birthday in the year 2030. He was excited about the year and used it to call a magical time. Firedon even predicted that humans would achieve agelessness by then, and that the year 2030 would be the perfect time to start an eternal life. Sadly, Firedon didn't make it to 2030 and passed away in 2000 at the age of 69 due to pancreatic cancer. According to his wishes, his body was cryogenically frozen. Ted Williams Ted Williams is without a doubt the most famous cryogenically frozen person. However, the circumstances surrounding the freezing of this man's body are a bit controversial. At his funeral, his son, John Henry Williams, informed the whole family that his father wanted to be preserved so that he could be reawakened in some future era. John Henry wanted the entire family to follow his father's wishes. However, Ted's will indicated that his body be cremated. Ted's daughter from his first wife took John Henry to court over the matter. Vladimir Lenin When Vladimir Lenin, who was a Russian revolutionary and politician, breathed his last breath in January 1924, most Soviet leaders opposed the idea of preserving his body beyond a temporary period of public display. However, the cold winter kept Lenin's publicly displayed corpse in good condition, and huge crowds kept visiting the body to pay their last respects to the great leader for almost two months. Later, Russian scientists developed experimental embalming methods to maintain the look, feel, and flexibility of the Soviet Union founder's body. Today, the chemically preserved body is 145 years old. Indeed, this is one great leader truly frozen in time. George Mallory 
1999, news broke that the body of explorer and mountaineer George Mallory had finally been found. Mallory had disappeared some 75 years earlier while trying to become the first person to scale Mount Everest. Now, an exhibition searching for his remains have found him at the foot of the Northeast Ridge, mummified and frozen solid. A label sewn into the tattered clothing confirmed that the remains belong to Mallory. Gene Hillard But do us a favor, click on that like button to inspire us. Also subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these types of ultimate facts. On December 20th, 1980, a woman named Jean Hillard had a car accident in extremely cold weather. The accident resulted in car failure. Jean started walking towards a friend's house, which was located two miles away. However, she collapsed 15 feet away from her friend's door. Temperatures dropped to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. The following morning, she was found frozen solid. Her body was laying in the blistering cold for six hours. Though some doctors were of the view that the stiffness in Jean's body was due to powerful muscle contractions rather than actual freezing. Itigilov According to reports appearing in Siberian Times and local Mongol media, Mongolian scientists are investigating the remains of what is described to be the 200-year-old corpse of a monk. The monk was found frozen in lotus position. The monk's left hand is open and the right hand is symbolizing the preaching of sutra. Like the frozen monk, there are numerous other reports of scientists discovering frozen mummies in extremely cold regions like Mongolia. Hedviga Golik You may have known her story from Watch Mojo or Brightside because it's a fascinating account indeed. Hedviga made herself a cup of tea and sat down to watch some television in her hometown Zagreb in Croatia. Sadly, she passed away in her chair. This was in 1966. Later, it was found that Hedviga was about to have her tea in her time capsule mausoleum. The time capsule was found 42 years later. When it was opened, Hedviga's body was still in a sitting position. When officers went inside to retrieve her body, they said it was like stepping into a place frozen in time. Which one of these stories did you find the scariest? Do you know other stories like these? Let us know in the comments. Like always, if you enjoyed, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on so you never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.